Next, we have a discussion and, pos and possible action for approval of bills, payroll, and monthly reports. We'll start with our new looking uh, mayor, uh, treasurer. <laughs> And it's a compliment, of course. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, thank you. Morning, sir. It's a good morning. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Raul Reyes, County Treasurer, for the record. Uh, Judge and Commissioners, this morning I have the two items. I have the presentation of bills and disbursements for the period of July 7th through July 20th, 2023, and the monthly report for the month of June 2023. Um, in the first item under the presentation of bills and disbursements, um, we did process and review uh, a total of 519 invoices for which 301 checks were uh, printed. And so that disbursement total waiting to be disbursed uh, upon approval by this court is $920,347 with 92 cents. We also have 129 electronic fund transfers for the payment of 419 invoices uh, ready to be also processed and disbursed. And that total amount is $1,633,497 with 44 cents. Payments released as per general order prior to today's meeting. Um, we have 81 checks that were processed for the payment of 586 invoices and that disbursement total is $191,468 with eight cents. And we have two electronic fund transfers totaling $211,566 with 98 cents. And that represents, you know, the payment of two invoices. I don't know if you have any questions regarding this first section. Questions or comments, colleagues? It doesn't seem like it, no. Yeah, is there, um, I would need action to go ahead and disburse these, uh, Payments. Motion. motion Second. To, yeah, motion to disperse uh, the payments. The bills, yeah. Second. Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item is the payment ratification, and th these were 163 uh, checks that were processed and released prior to today's meeting for the total of uh, payment of 226 invoices, and that disbursement amount was $290,025.45. You'll see that the large portion, judging commissioners, were the tax refunds. Those were those represented 156 checks. The total amount is listed on the uh, presentation. We had one forfeiture uh, check, and then we had some requests by departments, as indicated in the previous slide. For this, we would need uh, formal action to approve the ratification. Move to ratify. Second. Motion seconds. Any opposed? Motion carries. The next slide is for informational purposes only, and that's the liability disbursements of uh, our county payroll. And this is for the period of June 30th, 2023 through July 13th, 2023. Um, we did disburse 1,951 uh, direct deposits, and that disbursement total for the county contribution, the payroll deductions, and of course the net wages that totaled four million three hundred and thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and twenty-one dollars with fifty-three cents. Last but not least, the Casablanca Golf Course requirement of funds. The prior pay date was July fourteenth. The approved estimate was forty-two thousand dollars. The actual amount was thirty-five thousand nine hundred and sixty-five dollars with seventy-six cents. We are estimating once again for the pay date of the twenty-eighth of July that it will be, again, approximately, you know, close to the $42,000. We need to update the photo. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a lot nicer now. Uh, move to, uh, what is it? Have the payroll, estimated payroll, not to exceed 42000 Second. Sure. Motion seconds. Any opposed? Motion carries. Is that it? The next item is my uh, monthly report for the month of June 2023. Uh, our cash and investment balances at the end of, the, of last month, we had $197,062,063 with 91 cents in cash balance in the bank. Uh, our investment portfolio was $70,748,860. And of course, that total portfolio at the end of June was 
$1,810,923.91. Our investment to cash uh, portion, you'll see it there, 73.6% in cash. Our investments uh, represent 26.4%. Uh, in terms of our interest rate uh, return by our financial institutions, you'll see there um, text pools are at 5.0543%. Multi-bank securities weighted average um, are at 2.8800%. Falcon International Bank is at 2.500%. Faro Wealth is at 2.8500%. Uh, our new investments that have matured, that are being reinvested, um, they're all over 5% at the current moment. Uh, we have the Texas class pool is at 5.2674%. And of course, our investments are weighted average with Greater Pacific Securities. Uh, they're at 4.7900%. I've also included, Judge and Commissioners, uh, for record purposes, uh, the types of, of investments and instruments that we have per our um, investment portfolio. Mr. Uribe, he's good. Uh, can you remind me what's the arrangement with Falcon? Why is it at 2.5? Aren't they supposed to? Is it, uh, uh, so is it off LIBOR, or what, what? What are they using as the? Uh, they're using uh, Prime, uh, but. Okay. For the record, La Luri, we uh, had renegotiated the rate with them. We used to be at 1.5. Uh, they increased it to 2.5, and they would um, reset it every month if the rates were higher. Uh, so I, I don't remember the actual calculation, but it was uh, prime plus... Uh, or prime less. Right. And if the figure went up from that, beginning on the first of the month, they would reset the rate to adjust to, let's say, you know, 265 or 290. Very good. Okay. Was it a floating? Okay, it, I, thought the, I thought the floor was 2.5 and it was the floor. Is the floor. And the floor, I believe, is 2. And uh, it went up to 3, right? Right. And, and so I was, I was having access trouble with accessing my emails, but I'll, I'll pull it up right now and I'll share it with the court. Thank you. Yeah. And then um, uh, to your uh, comment, uh, Commissioner, something that I am currently working on is the update uh, the, some updates on our investment portfolio that will be uh, hand delivered, and I will personally meet with y'all to discuss, you know, a major change that I am proposing, and that is to reduce the 70/30 or eliminate the 70/30 caption that we have, um, so that we can tap into the pools uh, that are offering well over five uh, percent. You know, obviously at the end the court will have that uh, determination. But instead of keeping the majority of our cash balance with our depository, we would you know, direct them to our uh, pools, and uh, which are very liquid. Um, the, the liquidity is uh, almost 24 hours. So you're wanting your 73% to go down? I'm sorry? You're wanting your 73% of cash investments to go down? You're want, I mean, to- I'm wanting to not have, to not be tied to the 70-30 uh, portion, Rachel. Okay. Because uh, if you see here in our investment income, just for the month of July, we uh, brought in $774,372 with zero cents. Yep. That, that amount would have been extremely higher um, if we did not have that caveat where it was 70-30. Okay. Um, the running total for the fiscal year 2022-23, uh, uh, we've already generated $4,859,425 in investment income. Our investment portfolio summary and the next me, slide, I'm sorry? Let me just stop. Ralph, is, it, is that income uh, proposed in the budget? Uh, is that part of our revenue? It's not proposed to it. The full, uh, we had this conversation in meeting with the revenues total. Uh, we're keeping it very conservative. Um, one, because uh, we keep all of our investments to maturity um, without it having a direct impact. And we just don't know what the, uh, uh, the market fluctuation. What's will conservative? Be. One and a half. Uh, what if you, uh, for the record, Rafael Perez County Auditor, um, as to we were looking at last year's revenue, uh, even going back, and whatever was realized 
that's what we budgeted, and I believe it was a million dollars. So it's been uh, in his current projection that they are higher. What concerns me is is uh, um, when we were tied because we have a, a investment policy. And, and the treasurer mentioned that his hands were tied because the policy has been approved. And, and one of the recommendations, because we have spoken earlier, um, I did mention if, if, if uh, he could also consider having an investment committee. So we could have brought this uh, information to invest in text pool, uh, you know, when maybe one month earlier, two months earlier. So that, that was a recommendation that I had for him uh, at, at the last speaking with him. You know, so that, that's why I, I was concerned that, you, you know, our hands were tied and I mean, we could have found a way to to uh, invest in in the uh, very liquid text pool. OK, but I think the question was uh, in terms of what the projection was um, and speaking to the auditor, he felt uh, comfortable, even though my projections were a little bit higher. Um, I was around the two million, but he uh, thought it'd be appropriate to just keep it at one. No, OK. I it's, but it's but the point but the I, I still don't have a a clear answer to the question. Is this are you putting are you putting this on your books? Like are you putting yes, this as yes, revenue yes, to your books? Yes. Whatever is yeah, attributable. A million, a million and a half. So everything above books. that. And, and I'm pretty sure whatever number the treasurer did give us, that's what we're using. Last year we were using a million and and it was right a million uh, uh, five. Uh, I got I, it. I get it. I get okay. It. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. And the next slide is our checks issued report as of June 30th, 2023. Our accounts payable, uh, payroll and payroll liabilities, those total disbursements uh, throughout the uh, commissioner's court meetings, that totaled $14,128,600 with 23 cents. In our next slide, you'll see the sales tax revenue for the month of June, 2023. Um, that total revenue was $2,341,107. Last year, Judge and Commissioners, that amount was $1,831,295. That is an increase of 27.8389%. Uh, uh, in terms of our bingo and mixed beverage tax revenues, um, we are pending because the reports aren't due, so we'll have it in July and the, for the bingo tax. And then for the mixed beverage, uh, that total amount was $65,519 with 70 cents. So there's been a constant, you know, uh, stability in terms of the 60s that would, um, you know, uh, be good projections for the new upcoming fiscal year. In terms of our Webb County rents uh, report, uh, you'll see there that uh, the rents received totaled $7,530 with 24 cents. The rents paid were $23,775 with 45 cents. Leases paid, you'll see there, um, we have total debt service leases. Of, uh, we have a total of 22. Uh, 16 debt service leases are paid once a yearly, and then six of them are paid on a monthly base for the month of June. Uh, that total payment was $380,904 with 18 cents. The permanent school fund, uh, we did have some royalties. We did get, receive royalties from Highway 44, which is Lewis. That's $134,547 with 38 cents. Highway 59, uh, the Al Aldine Oil and Gas LP, that was $1,056 with 32 cents. We had no damages uh, reported, uh, and then we did get some hunting and grazing and that uh, from Highway 44, and that payment was uh, $152,398 with 37 cents. And then we should be getting our next payment for Highway 59 on the 13th of October, 2023. So that uh, total uh, revenue for the permanent school fund totaled $288,002.07. Oh, and then the text mix parking lot. Yeah. Um, happened? Well, we had two weeks of non-operable uh, you know, service, whether it be the card reader or people ramming into uh, the gate, uh, 
what's it called, bar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we did have two. That's why you see here um, the decrease, the substantial decrease in revenue, uh, I might add. And then you also see here that, you know, because of the result of those two weeks, we didn't even have to issue out vouchers for, you know, those jurors. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but I will be sending uh, y'all a uh, GM re a summary. So it dictates what days the uh, parking garage uh, or the parking lot was not operable. Um, we, all the repairs have been made. We ordered extra um, arms and uh, we're in the process of working with- We uh, have cameras watching the- That is what they're working on um, as we speak, yes. The, the camera system. Um, we were lucky to be able to coordinate with the sheriff's office um, and of course, IT, who, ha who has been very instrumental in uh, assisting us with this. Very good. But, yes. And judge and commissioners, that is all I have this Motion morning. to accept report. Very good. Any opposed? Motion carries. I Thank appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day.